Hi guys, this is Commander Coulson. Today I'm going to be showing you something really interesting. Graffiti. Now, I know this doesn't necessarily look exactly like real life graffiti, but I think this is about the closest we've ever gotten in a Halo game, a Halo game, in well, Forge at least. So here I have it on just a little building, it's honestly kind of just a little throwaway aesthetic I did just for the video here. And it looks pretty nice, we have a few shapes, we have some of those weird kind of lettery triangle shapes that you can see sometimes, little skulls down there. Graffiti on the rocks over here, which this isn't necessarily the best, but um, the graffiti can actually look really good on some rocks. I was doing it in a cave on my friend Dark Skull's map the other night, and it looked, it looked really good in the cave. So, this is actually really easy to do, and I'm going to give you a quick hint. Yeah. So, essentially, what you're going to want to do is spawn it, go into extras lighting spawn in a light invisible here you are and immediately you'll notice that there'll be of course the light splash on the wall before you do anything you're going to want to go ahead and go to object properties and choose your gobo this is done with light gobos so obviously you want to ch um, choose a still gobo so this gobo right here of the water castics will not work you want to go ahead and choose one of these more these still frame photos like the skull for instance I'm just gonna do the skull for right now because it's arbitrary and the easiest to get across in the tutorial so I'm gonna go ahead and offset it a bit because in real life people who are using graffiti wouldn't actually get it perfectly lined up and then you want to change it to a color you never want to use the color white because since these are lights, there's already a brightness effect that will make them appear white when you cross-lay them, cross-lay, overlay them. And that's the key, overlaying. Once you overlay, once you duplicate a light, put it off, put it over your other light, but put it offset. See how right here, it's really like offset, like it's kind of messy. You then want to change the color to something similar offset again and then choose a color that really is different and look at that now it doesn't seem to be too apparent here but what I was really having trouble with over here especially when I really started layering them is the more lights you put on sometimes you'll start to get this really really bright white like circly gleam in the center of the graffiti because these are lights now, this doesn't seem to be apparent here, maybe it's just the colors I'm using, but if that ever happens, I found that the best way to get rid of that is to turn brightness down and turn fall ratio up. Now, one of the best um, little things for this, I'm going to duplicate another one, is whatever shape you choose to use, always then put... The, this particular gobo over it. Let me just find it really quick. There's quite a few gobos. Okay, so that's one of them. See how it kind of has a sketchy look to it? Along with this one. This one's really nice. Basically, if you just make this kind of a light um, color of whatever you're pulling off at the moment, and then just increase its size to kind of wash it over everything along with fall ratio you just gotta tinker around with it you really gotta tinker with these and then I'm gonna actually make it a color more similar to the purplish basically what this does is it adds that kind of messy feel to it which most graffiti has you know graffiti is not just perfect I probably could do a lot better, but I'm actually running out of time. But here you are, Graffiti in Halo 5. I hope you guys enjoy, and I can't wait to see what kind of sketchy environments come out of this.